What's up my lovely people? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create your very own product mockups using Canva AI. So let's go ahead and get into it. When you are creating mockups, you always wanna keep in mind what vibe are you going for for your products, the niche, the product, and of course the type of product mockup you wanna create, and the season you wanna create it in. You wanna keep all this in mind when you're ready to curate these mockups. Because before you create your mockups, you want to go ahead and do a little bit of research. And I do research by using platforms such as Etsy. So for example, let's type in trendy fall tote. And all I do is just see what type of aesthetic people gravitate towards. So right here we have a bestseller. We're not looking at the design necessarily. We're looking at the image itself, the mock-up. Okay, so it has pumpkins in the background. It looks like it's under some like rustic wooden porch cover and it's it's giving off like a warm tone. If we go back, let's see, there's another one here and it actually doesn't have any type of background. It's just a plain studio light background and it's sitting on top of a, a stool. Simple and it's not complex. So when you're creating these mock-ups, they do not have to be complex. They can be as simple as pie and become very useful for your products, for, your, for you to market your products. There's another one here where it's like model, that's ad, so I'm not gonna even click on that one. Let's see, here's another one. I know Halloween's about to pass, but, and this is an ad too. Let me try to find another one that's not an ad or try a different product. Let's do trendy shirt and see what type of mock-ups shoppers are gravitating towards. So first off, we have some flat lays, some simple flat lays here. We have some that are modeled. This one that's modeled, but I'm seeing a lot of flat lays. So it seems like flat lays is where it's at for t-shirt mock-ups. This sweatshirt here is a um, flat lay. All I'm seeing is flat lays here. So I guess that says something. There's a couple of them that are modeled, but it looks like a lot of flat lays. That's where it's at, basically. And another tool I use is Pinterest. And I use this for my background ideas. That's one of the things I use it for. So what I'll do is type in, we're in fall right now, so what I'll do is type in fall aesthetic and then just scroll through, take my time, scroll through and try to grasp what people like. Because the only reason these pins are at the top are, is because people are saving these to their boards, they're sharing these with friends and family possibly. So for example, this one has, this is one is like a, a pumpkin patch vibe here with a lot of pumpkins everywhere. And then you have this one, it's kind of like book core, like, like a book lover scenery. And maybe you could put like a flat lay t-shirt in the middle of all this in a mock-up. Keep scrolling down. Here's a mug full of, I'm gonna assume, like pumpkin latte, maybe. Then we have some fall leaves here. This is basically giving me some ideas. So when I'm ready to create my fall mock-up, I can think of all the things I'm seeing right here. So for example, okay, what can I put in my mock-up for this tote bag that you know I wanna make a mock-up for? And now I'm thinking to myself, hmm, in Pinterest, I saw a lot of fall leaves, maple leaves on the ground. I saw pumpkin patch scenery, some acorns, or maybe I can do a book lover theme, like place a stack of books somewhere on the side, maybe some glasses to the other side, and maybe a cup of pumpkin slice latte topped with small marshmallows sprinkled with some cinnamon. That's an example of how this can come in handy. Another thing I tend to do is go to like boutiques or this all depends on the aesthetic that you're looking for, for whatever product that you're trying to market or just want to create a mock-up for. And uh, let's say I'm looking to, my target audience are like moms or uh, high school women, high school girls and they like this aesthetic. So I'm gonna go to things like this site here. It's um, Pink Lily, so I'm gonna go to, I'm already on their graphics. And they've already technically done the work. They know their audience already. So what I'm gonna do is browse through all of their model images. 
So for example, this one here, the lady, she has on a t-shirt, kind of looks like a comfort color shirt, but we're not looking at that. We're looking at the aesthetic. She has on loose jeans. They're kind of ripped. She's holding a, probably a mocktail or some type of alcoholic beverage in her hand. This lady here, she has on a sweatshirt with the collar on the outside of the sweatshirt. And that's the idea for a back print as well. And she's standing outside of a house and the house is kind of like, it's light color with some big windows. This one here, sweatshirt, it's an oversized sweatshirt. She has some leggings on. I can maybe add that to my mock-up. And then some flocked Christmas trees behind her. This girl here, she's outside, um, maybe possibly on a barn, desert somewhere, Arizona. It looks like Arizona-like, so that's another aesthetic. And I'm just taking notes, and if this is not your aesthetic, go to somewhere where it fits your crowd. Here's um, Urban Outfitters. This is a whole different type of target audience. And I'm seeing a lot of oversized, but she has on like light makeup, light jewelry as well. Oversized, oversized. Their poses are chill, relaxed, nothing too serious, just another day like they're about to go out and maybe grab some coffee with their girlfriends. That's the aesthetic that I'm getting from this. It's just chill, chill vibes. And this is how I grab my ideas. Now we're gonna go ahead and what I do is take this information, use ChatGBT to come up because I'm not the best at creating prompts all the way myself. So I have the help of ChatGPT. I plug in all this information. I ask it to give me some mock-up ideas for, let's say a blank canvas tote. Let's say I ask it to give me a mock-up for Comfort Color 1717 t-shirt, color ivory in a fall setting. And let's say the woman is sitting down on a haystack and is surrounded by pumpkins. That's the example. But if you can't even do that, that's fine. Just have ChatGPT keep asking it questions and it can help you out. Now we're gonna go ahead and go over to Canva AI and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my first prompt and we'll see what it turns out like. But first click Canva AI, click on image and under style, you wanna click smart. And for the ratio, I'm using the one by one ratio. Let's go ahead and plug in the first prompt. Now remember these are gonna be like fall Thanksgiving themed mockups. And I like to use Canva AI because it generates the images pretty quickly. And this can be used for a Bella Canvas t-shirt in the color natural. This one came out really nice. It has her in her pajamas, has some pies on the side. That one came out good. Let's see the other one. Not all of them are gonna come out picture perfect, so you just have to keep trying and perfect your skill. Let's go ahead and try a different one. Let's do like a family gathering fall vibe and see. Okay, so for this one, it's okay. I like for my surfaces to be as flat as possible. So when I place the design on there, it doesn't look too wrinkly, but this one is it's fine. It's okay, I'm just being picky. <laughs> the cup she's holding is in the way. We need as much space right here to place our design. So also keep that in mind, unless you're doing like a chest design, this mock-up will work for you. And after this next one, I'm gonna try a different product for the next mock-up. Okay, this one came out really nice. It gives me open space, wide enough for me to place a big or and or small graphic on here. All of these actually came out decent. All right, here's the outside scenery. I'm not sure why it keeps putting the coffee in front of her. This one would have been perfect if the coffee was on the side, but it's okay. You just trial and error, basically, for these mock-ups. This one came out decent. I mean, the shirt looks kind of weird right here on her. Now I'm gonna try one for a tote mock-up and see how that one turns out. Nice, clean studio lighting. This one actually came out pretty nice, and this is using Canva AI. You don't have to have no fancy um, tools out there, and it's only like $15.95 a month. At least at this time, it's only $15.95 a month, so you better lock in that price before they you know, possibly change it down the road. But this one came out pretty nicely. 
This one should be more holiday focused. Oh, this one came out nice too. I'm gonna keep saying that, but it came out nice, really nice. It has some ribbon around it, some pine, some pine cones. Now I'm gonna try some lifestyle mock-ups with the tote and see how that comes out. Um, her hand is looking weird. This one is decent. Okay, she's holding it out. No, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> but this one came out nice and clear. Her arm looks right. And her hand, she has all her fingers. You, you want to make sure that when you're making these um, mock-ups with AI. Because sometimes you could be missing a finger. Um, the arm or hand can be contorted into a unnatural way. So always check that when you're making your mock-ups. And let's try another one. This one is gonna be more target towards, targeted towards book lovers, supposedly. Let's see. Okay, this one came out nice. This one, the first one and the second one, I like the most, but I like the, I mean, first one and fourth one, I like the most. The fourth one I like, like, it's at the top. So this one came out really nice. All right, let's try another t-shirt one, and then we're gonna try a pillow one after this one. I love the fact that these generate so quickly. And these came out pretty nice, actually. Okay. This one looks like a comfort color shirt. Mm hmm And she's at a pumpkin patch, fall vibes all around, really great quality. Okay. And if you're curious about the prompts that I'm using, definitely check the link below. And if you have any questions or want me to create another video, maybe you have a different product from what I'm creating right now, just let me know and I'll definitely create another video for that. Now let's go ahead and create a pillow mock-up. This one came out really nice. All of them came out really nice actually. I keep using the word nice, but that's what comes to mind. And these mock-ups are so easy and simple to use and it honestly will save you so much money if you just create your own mock-ups versus going on Etsy and buying mock-ups, spending your money to buy mock-ups when you can create 10 times more for a fraction of the price um, with AI. Just make sure you're clear on the product that you're using because you don't want your mock-up to represent something that your product is not. We, we're not doing false advertisement over here. So make sure that the mock-up actually represents the actual product that you are trying to market. Just a little bit of vibing stick, stick, stick. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now let's create one for a card because I know a good amount of people create stationary products. So this is what we have. This one came out nice. And I really like that one. Has some coffee, a little pumpkin, some leaves around it. And this one came out good as well. And we just created a whole set of mock-ups. If you're not creating mock-ups to sell a product, you can always create them to sell them as is, as a digital product as well. That's a good idea for some side income. Just like that, we have a pillow mock-up, a t-shirt mock-up, a couple of totes, and then some more t-shirt mock-ups. But do you see the possibilities? The possibilities are literally endless. For creating mock-ups in the comfort of your own home, you don't have to go outside to try to take your own mock-ups. Just practice with the prompts and create them in a software like this. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope this was helpful. Bye.